Leo. Welcome to your next 24 to 48 hours tarot reading. This reading may or may not be your story. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and roles can be vice versa. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. And we are going to get straight ahead into your messages. So let's see where this, where your messages are. See what your next 24 to 48 hours looks like. Okay, Leo, you have forgiveness. Cancer just got that same exact card. And security. Okay. Right now, you may be questioning your own security, and you may be playing the blame game and blaming yourself. Or maybe you're blaming somebody else. But I'm feeling more like a, you are very similar to Cancer, Syrian energy in blaming yourself. Okay. Um, and there is definitely the sense of insecurity here. And I think that maybe you may have either took action or maybe you, for some of you, you did not take action. And now you're kicking yourself for not taking action, okay? That's what Spirit just told me. There's something that you wanted to do or you should have done. But you were hesitant. You second-guessed it. You questioned it. And now you're kicking yourself. Now, and Spirit is telling me that you need to pick yourself up and move forward and stop playing the blame game because the blame game, blaming yourself... Uh, being angry with yourself is not going to get you anywhere. It's something that Spirit told me. And faith. Okay, now the whole picture is coming very in, much into focus here. You, Due to a lack of faith and trying to play it safe, there was something that you decided not to do. A dream that you did not follow or a decision that you made for the sake of your security, a decision that you made based on fear, not faith. Okay, a lack of faith has held you back. And now you're kind of beating yourself up and, and the universe is saying, you need to forgive yourself that I'm hearing it's not too late, Leo. It's not too late. Okay. High Priestess was laying on the, de on, the, on the table when I picked the deck up. And she's in the reverse. So I think that maybe you're not trusting your intuition. Or, you know, and, and so you didn't trust your intuition. You didn't go with your gut. You played it safe. And the other message that I'm getting from this High Priestess in the reverse is something being revealed. Um, there might be something that just some kind of information that was hidden from you that is coming up from the surface. So a piece of information that held you back. And I feel like I'm hearing an emotional wall is coming down. I know that's not a traditional meaning of the Nine of Cups or the Nine of Cups in the reverse. There are some people that will say this could be an emotional wall. There is something coming down, and I feel it's an emotional wall, and I'm seeing all this water flowing down in this card from the, from the cups, and it's all, it might, it's like I'm hearing waters flowing down on you, waters of blessings flowing down on you, a wall or emotional blockage that is coming down. This could also be an intuitive blockage. Some of you may feel like your intuition has been blocked. But that block is coming down. Okay. We also have that um, the, the nine of wands in the reverse. There is definitely a block that is coming down. Somebody that was protected. I feel like upright. Somebody was protecting a secret here. 
but it's coming out. And you've been waiting very patiently. And this is, to, it came out in the reverse, which is telling me your wait is over. So kind of expect something in the next 24 to 48 hours. Some kind of very important piece of information to put the pieces to the puzzle together. But that's what I have for you, Leo. Love you all. Bye.